Burkina Faso is among the poorest countries in the world and cutting the primary source of income for smallholder farmers. Three million people are making a living from cotton production with an annual earning of $1.2 billion, which accounts for 60% of its export revenue. However, insects have often ravaged the sector, with a declining yield from 1,200 to 900 kilograms per hectare in 2006. This destruction level is above 80%. This has compelled farmers to spray their crops six times before harvesting. In 2007, the first trial for genetically modified cotton, known as Borga No. 2, was conducted in 20 sites across Burkina Faso to increase its adoption by cotton growers in the country. This genetically engineered variety is designed to target some insect pets like bollworm, as well as allow cotton growers to increase both yields revenue whilst decrease the use of pesticide by two tiers. With the revamping of the cotton sector, 15 zones were created for easy monitoring by over 300 extension officers whose mandate is to support the smallholder farmers with the best agronomic practices. According to cotton growers, the adoption of BT cotton was the best political will that has enhanced the agricultural sector of the country. They noted that cotton production has increased by 14%, above 600,000 tons from 2012 to 700,000 tons for 2013-2014 farming season, with 60% adoption rate for BT cotton. This achievement has been attributed to the independent and efficiency sector developed by the government for the promotion of the adoption of BT cotton by Cefotex, the lead agency for the production of seeds in the country. Dr. Silbury is the director for cotton production at Cefotex. Semences délinté, c'est les semences qui ont été traitées à l'unité de délintage. Nous enlevons le linter et on arrose ça de produits chimiques. Il y a une coloration bleue qui permet de différencier la semence conventionnelle qui est enrobée avec un produit de coloration rouge. Lui, la semence et qui la met à la disposition des producteurs à travers notre système. C'est nos agents, les camions de Sofitex, qui mettent en place la semence auprès des producteurs. Ce n'est pas un intermédiaire. Donc déjà, au niveau du Ghana, il faut que les producteurs soient vigilants à ce niveau. Et l'autre aspect, c'est les contrôles que nous faisons au niveau de la production de semences. Tous les sacs de semences de coton transgénique sont vérifiés pour savoir s'ils si contiennent le gène ou pas. The second secretary for economic and commercial affairs at the U.S. Embassy in Burkina, Martin Vogel, noted that the successes of the cotton industry in Burkina is largely due to a well-organized cotton association who understood the rule during the adoption of the BT cotton. They have a cotton producers association that is uh, very well organized and that uh, understands the benefits of biotechnology and so they were able to move forward uh, fairly quickly in terms of adoption in Burkina Faso biotechnology. So I think that's one important ingredient is that there needs to be outreach to farmers. Farmers have to understand um, the potential benefits and what's in it for them as they've done here in Burkina Faso and so they get buy-in from the farmers uh, in order to be able to adopt it. The president of the Burkina National Cotton Producers Union Karim Tori noted that Ghana can only revamp its cotton industry if there is unity among cotton growers. He noted that the unity of the farmer groups will enhance the lobbying powers of the association in the production of cotton. Ce que nous pouvons dire que ce que l'union a donné au Burkina Faso dans notre entente Aujourd'hui, nous avons une considération au niveau du gouvernement et des partenaires techniques et financiers. En plus de cela, euh, nous, nous avons eu à amener 300 tracteurs au niveau du Burkina Faso, exonérés par l'État burkinabé, sans taxes. Ça, c'est euh, plus de 1 milliard de francs que l'État burkinabé a mis pour exonérer les taxes. Ça, c'est notre union qui nous a donné. Aujourd'hui, l'UNPCB a des activités qu'il fait au nom de cette union. Nous avons la commercialisation des céréales, nous faisons la collecte de céréales et qui nous donne de l'argent. Nous avons, nous mettons les pesticides en place. Ça c'est l'union. C'est grâce à notre partenariat avec les sociétés cotonnières que nous faisons. Nous vendons notre coton biologique nous-mêmes 
à l'extérieur sans passer par les sociétés cotonnières. Ça, c'est l'union qui le fait. Donc, je pense que les producteurs ghanéens peuvent bénéficier de beaucoup de choses en s'unissant. Ils peuvent bénéficier de bon engrais. Ils peuvent bénéficier euh, de l'organisation, de la filière du Ghana pour que ces producteurs aussi puissent bénéficier des fruits de leur effort. With the various concerns raised by critics that GM foods are not safe for human consumption, a visit revealed that more than 70% of cotton products in Burkina Faso are used as animal feed and also extracted for oil production. But the head of National Biosafety Agency in Burkina Faso, Professor Chantel Zangrana, knows that, that 90% of vegetable oil produced in Burkina Faso are product of GM cotton, which is fortified with vitamin A. She explains further that the test conducted on animals shows that it's safe and proven to be healthy. We are giving an authorization for cotton, for grow cotton, mm -hmm. but we are giving also an authorization for uh, uh, cotton seed, for cotton oil, and for uh, the uh, residue uh, which came when you prepare oil. And we see that we can eat GM cotton oil. I, I am a consumer. I consume this oil because I know that this oil is similar to the conventional oil. What is the proof? We give them the scientific proof because the gene cannot stay in our system. When we eat the gene, the gene will be destroyed. It's not like in the insect uh, gut stomach. In our stomach, the gene cannot be stay. It will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. It will be destroyed also because our uh, stomach is acid. And if you put the gene in the uh, acid uh, uh, system, in uh, environment, the gene will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And also, if you submit the gene to high temperature, when you prepare oil, we submit the seed to uh, high temperature, the gene will be destroyed. Since we are using uh, GM seed, GM oil, or uh, with, uh, for human and animal, mm. nobody tell us that it get a damage. The president of the Seed Producers Association of Ghana, Patrick Apula, who participated in biotech study tour to Bobo de la Sou in Burkina Faso, called for immediate endorsement and adoption of BT cotton in Ghana to lessen the burden of cotton farm. Inspecting the cotton farm, I believe Ghana can immediately start implementing GMO cotton because the balls from here inspecting the snowball worms that is destroying the cotton and the ball worms are not dropping. So I will encourage and plead with Ghanaian policy makers to endorse with immediate effect the introduction of GMO cotton in Ghana. You can even see the yields, the, the, the fruiting. The fruiting is the very fantastic. The adoption of BT cotton will reduce Ghana's chemical importation for the cotton sector by 40%. From Burkina Faso, Nuanash, Fuvasa One News.